so the ferranti effect named after the italian british engineer electrical engineer uh, ferranti ferranti effect refers to a phenomenon observed in the long high voltage alternating current transmission line this effect results in a in in an increase in voltage at the receiving end of the transmission line compared to the voltage at the uh, at the sending end under the certain conditions and uh, certain conditions so first one is the transmission line characteristics transmission line characteristics high voltage ac transmission line are essential for transmitting the electric power over the long distance efficiently these lines are often several hundred hundreds of the kilometers long and operate at the high voltage to minimize the uh, power uh, losses during the transmission second one is the uh, capacitive coupling capacitive coupling one of the key factors contributing to the ferranti effect is the inherent capacitance present between the conductors of the transmission line and the surroundings ground or other conductive elements such as the towers and support structures this capacitance allows for the storage and release of the electric charge between the conductors and the surrounding environment third one is the uh, third one is the inductive reactance in addition to capacitance transmission line also poses inductance due to the magnetic field generated by the alternating current flowing through the conductors this inductance contributes <coughs> to overall impedance of the transmission line fourth one is the voltage drop voltage drop when ac power is transmitted through a long transmission line the impedance of the line causes a voltage drop along its length this voltage drop is primarily due to resistance inductance and capacitance of the line collectively referred to as the impedance fifth one is the voltage regulation <clears throat> power utilities aim to maintain a relatively constant voltage level at the receiving end of the transmission line to ensure <clears throat> the efficient operation of the electrical equipment and appliances connected to the grid to achieve these utilities adjust the voltage at the sending end of the line using the voltage regulation devices such as the transformers and the and the voltage regulator sixth one is the uh, line charging current at the beginning of the transmission line where the voltage is adjusted the charging current flows through uh, flows into the line to the charge at uh, uh, charge the distributed capacitance this charging current contributes to the voltage drop along the transmission line seventh one is the reactive power the capacitance and the uh, inductance of the transmission line uh, cause a shift uh, cause a phase shift between the voltage and current resulting in the flow of the reactive power reactive power performs not perf uh, reactive power does not perform useful work but is necessary for maintaining the voltage level and supporting the transmission line of the real power eighth one is the voltage rise due to the charging current and the reactive power flow the voltage at the receiving end of the transmission line can be higher than the voltage at the sending end especially under the light load condition when the line is lightly loaded or unloaded <clears throat> ninth one is the impact 
on equipment. The Ferranti effect can lead to the over voltage conditions at the receiving end of the transmission line, which may exceed the designed voltage limits of the electrical equipment connected to the grid. This can potentially damage or disrupt the operation of the sensitive equipment such as transformer, motors and the electronic devices. Tenth one is the compensation and control. Power utilities employees employ various methods to mitigate the Ferranti effect and regulate the voltage levels along the transmission line. These methods include the installation of the sun reactors, series capacitors, voltage regulators and synchronous condensers to manage the reactive power flow and maintain the voltage stability. So in the conclusion on the or in the summary, we can say that the Ferranti effect is a complex phenomenon observed in the long transmission is long, uh, long high voltage uh, AC transmission line characterized by the increase in the voltage at the receiving end compared to the sending end due to the capacitance and the inductance of the line. Understanding the managing the frantic effect are essential for ensuring the reliable and efficient operation of the electrical power transmission systems. Next one, how can we reduce the Ferranti effect? Reducing the Ferranti effect involves the implementing the various techniques and technologies aimed at the mitigating the voltage rise a phenomenon observed in the long high voltage AC transmission line. So there are number of uh, methods to reduce or to manage the Ferrand effect. First one is the sunt reactors. Sunt reactor. Installing the sunt reactor as, uh, reactors at the strategic point along the transmission line helps to compensate for the capacitive charging current, thereby reducing the voltage rise. Sunt reactors provides the inductive reactance to counterbalance the capacitive reactance of the line, effectively minimizing the Ferrand effect. Second one is the series capacitor. Series capacitor. Introducing the series capacitors at the appropriate location on the transmission line can improve its power factor and reduce the voltage rise. Series capacitors compensate for the line's inductive reactance, thereby improving the voltage regulation and reducing the Ferrand effect. Third one is the synchronous condenser. Synchronous condensers. Synchronous condensers are rotating machine similar to synchronous motor but operate without a mechanical load. They provide reactive support to the transmission line helping to stabilize the voltage level and mitigate the Ferranti effect by absorbing or supplying the reactive power as needed. Fourth one is the static wear compensator. Static wear Compensators. Static wear compensators are solid state devices that provide the fast and precise reactive power compensation by injecting or by absorbing the reactive power as required. Static wear compensators help control help help to control the voltage levels and to minimize the voltage fluctuations including those caused by the Ferranti effect. Fifth one is the voltage regulators. Voltage regulators. Implementing automatic voltage regulators or the tap charges at the substations allows for the continuous adjustment of those of the adjustment of the voltage level at the sending end of the transmission line. This helps to maintain optimal voltage level and mitigate the uh, voltage rise effect at the receiving end. Sixth one is the uh, power factor correction. Power factor 
correction. Improving the power factor of the transmission line by, by adding the power factor correction capacitors can reduce can help to reduce the reactive power flow and minimize the voltage levels effects caused by the capacitive charging current. Seventh one is the line compensation technique. Employing the advanced line uh, compensation techniques such as the STATCOM, static compensators or the FAC devices, flexible alternating current transmission system can reduce the voltage stability and control the reactive power flow thus reducing the parent effect. Eighth one is the uh, load management. Load management. Balancing the load uh, uh, distribution along the transmission line and adjusting the power flow patterns can help alleviate voltage rise issues, issues associated with the Ferranti effect. Load management strategies involving the optimizing the power generation and distribution to minimize the voltage fluctuations. Ninth one is the transmission line design. Optimizing the design parameters of the transmission line such as the conductors, conductor spacing, insulate, insulation, tower uh, configuration can reduce, can help to reduce the capacitance and inductance thereby mitigating the Ferranti effect. System monitoring and the control. Implementing the advanced monitoring and control systems enable real-life monitoring of the voltage levels and the reactive power flow along the transmission line. This allows operators to take the uh, proactive measures to mitigate the front effect and maintain the system stability. So by implementing these measurements, and employing the combination of the reactive power compensation voltage regulation and advanced control strategies power utilities can effectively reduce the impact of the Ferranti effect and ensures ensure the reliable and the efficient operation of the long high voltage transmission line so this is the way that we can reduce the Ferranti effect in the high voltage